good morning everybody good morning happy tuesday oh casper he's broken out because well there was a loud plane went over which of course upset kiko kiko broke the door open not broke it but yeah he managed to open the door and um Casper's come up and of course Casper is our, our resident thief so he's got one of my slippers but he's actually just dropped it sounds like he's drinking out of the toilet now but that's okay there's no bleach or anything down there look at me I come in and I just sort of oh what's he got now oh he's got the other slipper threw yesterday's top over there instead of putting it in the wash bin <laughs> So anyway, how are we all? I hope you're okay. I hope you're having a lovely day so far. I'm off to have my hair done in a minute. Hi, Karen. I hope you're well today. Yes, I'm off to have it done. I must admit, I like it a little bit longer. I do. I like it a little bit longer. It was lovely when it was hot for, you know, a couple of days, a week or so ago, just to be able to put it up out of the way. It really was nice. So I want to keep it longer, but I'm going to have a slight change of colour. At the moment, it's very sort of, sort of boom in your face, ready brown. And I don't want it to be quite so boom in your face. So I'm toning it down a little bit. I usually do it on my own, but I'm having a treat this time. And she's going to do it for me. And then um, you can buy the dye off of her, which is absolutely brilliant. It saves a fortune as well. Uh, but I'd like, I think, over the next year or so, just to go slightly lighter. Um, I just feel that when mine grows out now, it's sort of like a streak of lightning, do you know what I mean, comes through. So I'd just like that to be not quite such a vivid streak of lightning. So if any of you've got any bright ideas, if you think, oh, this colour would be lovely, or see someone in a picture and you think that colour would suit Lorna, send it to me. I'd be very grateful. I'm going to have my collagen and then we'll make a start. Did you see yesterday I went out for a lovely, well, cake and cocktails it was. And I had my very, very first, 64 years old, I had my very first cocktail. <laughs> Um, I liked it, but it was very strong. I'm not very good with alcohol. Uh, the one that I had probably sounds very strong as well. It was called um, a, a cherry bakewell or a cherry bakewell tart or something rather like that. And I had that because I loved the cakes. But oh my word, was it strong in the drink. But I can't say I didn't enjoy it because I did. Um, by the time I got home, I was a bit like this, <laughs> which Alan thought was hilarious. <laughs> and I slept very well last night. When we were in Spain... I would often have, um, the drink of our region was called Tinto de Burano, which was basically wine of the summer, which was red wine with lemonade. And that was lovely. And of course you can drink it like a soft drink. Feels like a soft drink when it's going down, but I couldn't have any more than two or I'd have a headache. <laughs> so I'm not very good at this sort of drinking malarkey, but hey ho, it was fun and we had such a lovely time. It was my coffee club friends and um, the lady that started the coffee club, I think it was probably about just under two years ago or something rather like that. Yeah, 18 months to two years ago. It was her birthday. And, um, and we started doing a sort of a, a ladies lunch because quite often there's husbands that go as well. But sometimes us ladies just like a bit of time on our own, don't we? So it was really lovely and um, we all enjoyed it very much. And no doubt when we get together tomorrow for our normal coffee club, we'll be organising the next one because it was such good fun. Whew, I'm in a bit of a fluster. 
I don't know why, I don't need to be in a fluster. Calm yourself down, you want to calm yourself down. Right, okay, so I'm going to put some makeup on because I'm going to the hairdressers. There's there's a meme goes round, isn't there? And it's like you've never felt so ugly than you do at the hairdressers. And it is so true. When you've got that thing around your neck and your hair all scraped back. So I always put on a bit of makeup when I'm going to the hairdressers just to, you know, make me try and feel a little bit better about myself. But whilst before I do, I want to let you know what's in our beauty box. Because, you know, you can... I don't want to say you can buy our beauty box. OK, I'm going to say it. you can buy our beauty box because so many people in the past have bought our beauty box thinking they were never going to sell it. They would just wanted it for themselves and they finished up actually being high earners because they've loved the contents of it so much and they shared it with friends and family and you know, and they go out wearing the product and then people have sort of said, oh, wow, that mascara is great. Where did you get it from? And before you know it, they've sold a mascara, got a bit of commission, thought, oh, this is quite good. Sold a few more mascaras, got some more com commission. You know where I'm coming from. And then if you are that way inclined, it's very, very easy to then sort of like think, yeah, I could do quite well at this. I could earn myself another... Fifty pound a month, couple of hundred pound a month. I mean, let's be honest. Who wouldn't want a couple of hundred pound extra a month? Me, please. Right. Okay. So, I found the list and I've sent it to myself on the iPad, and I actually have most of them, which I'm really pleased about. So I can show you. <clears throat> let's make sure I sent it to myself after all. Oh, no internet connection. It's because it's been turned off for a while. Oh, I'm steaming up as well. It's quite a warm day here in Lincolnshire. I don't know what it's like where you guys are. Right, okay. So all this is for £69. I'm not sure if you have to pay shipping these days. I did when I when I signed up. I um I paid shipping, but I think that's £5.95. And when you're getting 69 pounds worth of products no sorry 320 pounds worth of products i'm steaming up again for um 69 pound plus shipping it's a bit awesome dogs have started they'll be all right they're stopping a minute right okay first of all you get the 4d fiber lash mascara which you know i love Sorry if you can hear them. <laughs> Honestly, it's like having naughty children in my house. That's Casper. That means he wants storm out of the way from somewhere. So you get the 4D, you also get the twisted mascara. That's the one with the two wands. You get the lash primer. I haven't got the lash primer at the moment. I've had it, I've used it, I love it. You also get one of these um, liquid eyeshadows. I'm not sure what colour it is, but it's going to be a neutral one. Probably something like Willed or Reverence reverent whichever one it is called you get a pressed shadow now the pressed shadows look like look like this you'll get one of those this one just happens to be a sort of a silvery gray got no idea what color comes but again it's going to be a nudie color that anybody can can use right um pressed blusher you know i use the blusher every day it's the more up-to-date round version of that a tapered blusher brush i haven't got the unique one i bought this um cheap one when i desperately needed one from somewhere but basically it's that shape you get that in the beauty box as well you get an all day matte liquid lipstick. You know I love these. I use these all the time. I don't know what colour, but again, it's going to be something neutral that everybody would know and love. What else? 
you get a creamy lip scrub i haven't got the creamy lip scrub i've heard great things about it though you get the uology eye masks now you know that i i've had these for ages and i it's one of these things that they're so awesome i really don't want to keep using them but um you get those as well right you get a box of 15 collagens so if you're thinking about treating yourself to collagen of course you can try it you can try it along with all these other awesome products and then if you like it you can buy it and you can get the reward points and the commission back yourself for your own product that you're buying so there's that hello big fella are you back are you back yeah come and say hello <laughs> my big boy right you also get the biocellulose mask which i have and i haven't used it yet because i'm like waiting for a special occasion how ridiculous is that don't you be stealing anything oh i've got one of alan's shoes now it's all right the back door's not open otherwise he sort of takes things right down the end of the garden now he's getting cleverer you also get um, an eye cream sample. I love the eye cream. I had that for ages as well. And you also get a tote bag. So you get all those products. All those products for £69. And as I was talking to somebody the other day, and I did sort of explain that if you want the box, you know, the beauty box, um, I'm not going to... If you like then run away and don't talk to me ever again, I'm I'm not going to fall out with you. Nobody is going to come looking for you. And there's never like anything to say that you have to spend so much money. You have to place so many orders. Do you know what I mean? There's never anything like that. You buy the beauty box. The rest is up to you. You have got an opportunity there to help you earn an extra £50 a month. It's got something else now. Don't know what it was. Or there's millionaires in the company. The choice is yours. They've all started the same way with that £69 beauty box, which is a bit awesome, really, isn't it? Okay, right, let's get some face on. So I just wanted to tell you about that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna have to use my not quite favourite one because I took a couple of my foundations to show a friend yesterday and um, they're still in my handbag. But that's okay, I should use this one instead. Uh, Casper, what are you doing now? Oh, it's all right, it's another shoe. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was watching um, a lovely lady doing um, a training yesterday. <laughs> And she was getting so stressed at first because her, like, they looked like teenage kids kept coming in. And um, we're all like, I think everyone laughs because we all have these things that, like, go wrong in our lives. It's probably, you know, young mums have got young toddlers that are likely to be a pain or, you know. I've watched a video where somebody said, uh, a child called out, can you come and wipe my bottom, mummy? Do you know what I mean? Or you get a dog that's stealing everything. We all have these things. And it's true life, isn't it? As they say, we can work, you can work this around all your other commitments. And it is so true. So this is the pressed powder. As most of you know, it's probably one of my least favourite products, but I still use it. We just sort of like have these favourite things, don't we? I'm going to have brown all over my head soon anyway, aren't I? So no one's going to, no one's going to be, you know, it's only going to be me and the lovely Sarah. No one else is going to be seeing me. <laughs> oh, God. It's 
so yeah i'm sort of like thinking about hair colors i'm going to ask her today what she thinks might suit me oh no of course i <laughs> my um contour thing is in there as well is in my handbag but it doesn't matter i've got a i've got an old bronzer i'll use that Yeah, I'll ask Sarah what she thinks because she has like strips of it and she can like sort of put it to my face and see what would suit and what wouldn't suit. I mean, my I'm sure my real hair now is probably completely sort of like white. I was so dark as a child and then I think I sort of started to go grey probably in about my late to, mid to late 20s. But I've always covered it up and I'm... I don't feel ready to be grey, do you know what I mean? And with the greatest of respect... Oh, God. He's crying like a baby now. <laughs> with the greatest of respect, the people that I see that have gone like from brown to grey, I do think they look a bit older, you know. I mean, that's obviously my opinion. And that's, you know, that's what they want and good for them. But I think also the fact that Alan's quite a bit younger than me as well. I sort of like just try and push the boundaries for as long as I can. <laughs> oh dear, poor Alan. Right, okay. Let's get some brows on. Oh, let's do some blusher, then I've done my face. Got a very, very exciting weekend coming up. I'm actually going to Bolton. I'm pinging away here. Oh, no, I thought I turned it off, but I haven't. Um, I'm going to Bolton at the weekend. Um, Alan's driving me down on the, on the Friday. I was going to get the train, but unfortunately... This train strikes on the, it's either the day before or the day after. And so they're saying now, you know, that there's going to be, um, not alterations, but, you know, sort of problems either side of that. New thing, ladies, apparently. Get some, get some blusher on your nose. It's the latest craze. And here on your chin, too. Makes you look sun-kissed, apparently. So there we go. I'm all for the latest craze. <laughs> um, so where was I? Yes, I'm going to Bolton. So Alan's going to drive me down and then poor Alan's got to come back and pick me up again the following day because they're, be they're working on the tracks on the Sunday. But it does mean that I'll have a, a, a nice one night in a hotel away from dog disturbances, which will be awesome. And um, yeah, I'm just so excited about that. I really am. And it's going to be so much training. It's just going to be great to get amongst the old Y sisters again. I know it sounds corny, but it's just so true. It's just so, so exciting. You just sort of, everybody lifts each other. Do you know what I mean? And I know it sounds culty <laughs> and cheesy, but it's true. It's just an awesome company to be with with some fabulous ladies. I was going to do my brows, wasn't I? Never mind. Going all over the place today. So I'm so excited about that. The uh, two ladies that are running it, they would like us in pink as much as possible. I have got a pink dress. I've actually got two pink dresses. One that I bought last year. It's only a Primark one. It's a bit too small for me this year um i haven't i tried it on about a month ago and um it was really too tight around the boobs so i've sort of put it away but i think i'm gonna have to get it out because it's either the choice of one that's a bit tight around the boobs or one that is very very short that i would wear white cycling shorts with do you know what i mean and i think the other one is a little bit more dressy so um i might have a try on with them and you can tell me which one you think would be best and i've been looking for some nice sandals for ages my only shoes i have i'm not a shoe person at all my only shoes i have are boots 
trainers and flip-flops one pair oh now i actually have two pairs of boots but they wouldn't go with with that anyway so i really really don't know you know sort of like what to do about that but i was nosying on amazon the other day and i saw these really nice wedges that are sort of like wicker slash pink and they are so pretty I'm really, you know, they look like a nice heel. I like a bit of a heel unless I'm wearing flip-flops. They look like they're about that, which looks about perfect. Probably about two inches if you're into old money like I am. Um, and it said that they were a wide fit. And I think I might try them. Um, I might have a look when I come back from the hairdresser. And just hope that I can, um, hope they're on prime. And if so, I might treat myself. So, so exciting. I'm pinging like crazy today. And I know why. There's another training session coming up because my upline's upline is going to Utah for the big American convention in about a week or so's time. And she's just arranging for a, a training at her house in Bolton for people to catch up I want to go I really want to go but it's whether or not I can get there on the train I'll have a think I mean bless him Alan would take me it's gonna take him three hours to take me to Bolton when I go this week I'm sure she lives in Bolton or Bolton or yes she does she does she lives in Bolton because she sounds just like a, a female Peter K. she's so hilarious and I would get all that training sort of like passed on first hand which would be it would be incredible but Alan worries about me he worries in case I like do too much and what have you because when I did that full day work in the garden a couple of weeks ago, it took me four days to get over it. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Whoa, pretty good lashes today, Lorna. Pretty good lashes today. Yeah, so going back to the beauty box, if you fancy treating yourself, if you want to know any more about it, as I said, who can do with an extra... 50 quid a month you know a couple of hundred pound a month i mean how how amazing because things are tough aren't they things are tough oh, i've got a feeling there's a dip and draw eyeliner as well because i've got that out to show you but i didn't read it but i probably missed it for those eyeliner lovers a dip and draw eyeliner i'm sure that's in there Right, now let's do my brows. I mustn't forget them. My brows and my lippy. At least the dogs have calmed down, thank goodness. Do you know, I've just realised, I wonder if maybe the comments aren't working today. Because usually people talk to me. And I've got one person watching at the moment. There's been more. But maybe they're talking to me and I'm not answering them back and they're thinking she's rude. Because I did have that last week and it was only when I came away from the live I saw the comments. So if you are talking to me, I do apologise. That's OK. I will message you back when I come back from having my hair done. I might even take a photo. Might even take a photo of the ugly bits as well, <laughs> just to give you a laugh. <laughs> well, I think I'll go a little bit nudie with the lips today. That's better. That's better. Right. A wee bit nudie. Got all my bright reds in there. Oh, I think I used this one the other day, but it's all right because I love it. Actually, I'm going to exfoliate my lips first because they feel a little bit dry. I'm sure, this is in my makeup bag. 
I will use it if it's in here. <laughs> Obviously, if it's not, I won't. There it is. This is fabulous, this is. Hi, Karen. If you watching, I thought it was because I saw you jump on at the beginning. Thank you so much. And thank you for letting me know the comments are working. I was watching a friend do her live earlier on today. And I was having a right problem with my phone because I was trying to comment on her video, but it wouldn't let me. So I know these things happen. Or sometimes it just doesn't show up, does it? Hmm. Oh, that's so delicious. <laughs> and makes your lips feel good too. I've got a better mirror here. That I could have been using for the past half hour or so. There you go. All set. All set for the hairdressers. Right, okay, that's me out of here. Thank you so much for watching, Karen. <laughs> and anybody that did, obviously, if you watched on the replay, please let me know and um, I can go back and thank you. Have a super day, everybody, and i catch up with you soon. Lots of love. Bye.